Now Jessie's going to demonstrate a dead bug exercise. So she's going to go from this seated position to her side. And this is the safest way for someone who is pregnant to get um, into the lying on their back position. Jessie is about 26 weeks along. I know it doesn't quite look like it, but she's about 26 weeks along. Um, so that's the safest way for her to get in that position. Now to perform the dead bug, she's going to be lying on her back with a nice neutral spine. A lot of coaches perform the dead bug with the lower back pressed into the ground. Well, it's not necessarily wrong in women who are trying to conceive or pregnant, it can um, actually kind of create a lot of kind of tension in the pelvic floor. And that's one of the things that women have issues with when they're trying to conceive or pregnant. So we don't want to be in that bum tucked under, lower back pressed into the ground position. So Jessie's going to be nice and neutral. She's going to lift her legs off the ground. Good. And we want her hips and her knees flexed at about 90 degrees. You'll see a lot of people try to bring their knees closer to their chest because it, uh, it makes things easier. But we want the knees and the hips flexed at about 90 degrees. She's going to put her arms up as well. Now for a lot of people, just breathing and maintaining this position is going to be somewhat challenging. If you want more of a challenge, you're going to start by moving just your arm. So Jessie's going to move her arm back on the exhale and then bring it forward on the inhale. And she can alternate back on the exhale. And so all this is, is trying to maintain this nice neutral spine and core position while you're controlling one of your limbs moving. Um, a step up from that is going to be moving just the leg. So same thing, she's trying to control this nice neutral spine while she's moving her leg. She's only moving on the exhale. Good. And then to make it even more challenging, she's going to move opposite arm, opposite leg. So step one would be just breathing in that position. Step two would be moving just the arm. Step three would be moving just the leg. And step four is going to be moving the arm and the leg. Now, if you want to step it up even further, you can add load. So Jessie's going to roll over to her side and grab a dumbbell. She's going to roll to her back and press the dumbbell up. You'll notice she pressed it up with both hands after pulling it towards her body. She's going to hold it in one hand. And whatever hand the dumbbell is in, she's going to move the other arm and that same leg. So she's gonna not be alternating this time. Couple more. Good, and if she wanted to switch, she would just grip the dumbbell, switch to the other hand, being very careful. Okay, and then other leg, there you go. Oh, I'm sorry, yeah, other side. And that's the most challenging variation of the dead bug. In order to put it down, she's gonna grip the bell, pull it to her chest, and roll to her side.